Joe Jackson, the father of Michael Jackson, has always been known as a monstrous father who was unbelievably hard on his children to the point that Michael would sometimes vomit when he was around. But he did manage to create the Jackson 5 and the then king of pop Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson's career. So did he need to be this hard to guarantee the success of his children? Watch our video to find out why the Jacksons were so scared of their father and why he was not part of Michael Jackson's will. After the divorce of his parents at the age of 12, Joseph Walter Jackson was a lonely child who had few friends. He dropped out of high school to pursue his dream of becoming a boxer. Meanwhile, he met Catherine and married her in 1949, so to be able to support his new family, he left his dream of being a professional boxer and started looking for a job that he could earn a living for to support their children. In 1950, he was the one who entered the music industry and played the guitar for his own blues band called The Falcons. But even that became a lost dream and achieved no success. Luckily, he found out that his children were blessed with musical talent, particularly Michael, and that is how he lived his own lost dream throughout them. With his kids, in 1964, he launched the group The Jackson 5, which became one of the greatest pop vocal groups. The power, or better say the abuse, of power he had over his kids and their great career turned him into a cold, violent, and bitter father. In an interview, Jermaine Jackson confessed that none of them could remember that their father ever holding them or cuddling them or even telling them, I love you. Joseph never let the kids call him dad and they had to call him Joseph. He even mentioned that if they ever stopped singing, he would drop them like a hot potato. He would sit in his chair with a belt in his hand while the Jackson 5 was rehearsing and if one of them got the moves wrong, he would beat them. He would beat them with whatever he had around, a belt, a cord of an electric kettle or he would even go make them break a branch off a tree and then he would hit them with that same branch. The fear from the father was too real that Michael would sometimes vomit when he was around. If any of the members of the group did something wrong as Michael recalled, their dad would tear them up. Joseph did admit that he was whipping the kids with belts but he said that he never used any hard object that he would imply the word beat. The kids were not allowed to play outside with other children because they had to go to the studio and record or they had five hours long rehearsals. Joe became not only physically but also emotionally abusive. Michael, in his 1993 interview with Oprah Winfrey, mentioned that his childhood was filled with sadness and loneliness. He didn't know if he was his golden child, but he did know he was very strict. Just a look would scare them all. Joe's psychological bullying was mostly targeted at Michael Jackson. He remembered that he was very self-conscious in his teenage years about his big nose and acne. Using that against him, Joe used to call him ugly and referred to him as Big Nose. This had such a destructive effect that Michael developed a tick of touching his nose all the time in order to hide it. Later, as an adult, he started a series of plastic surgeries that went too far as it only left two holes on his face and he had to wear a prosthetic nose. Joe never regretted beating the children. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2010, he mentioned that beating helped keep the children out of jail and kept them right. He said, I don't think Michael was afraid of me. What he was afraid of was that he may do something wrong and I would reprimand him, but not beat him. I never beat him like the media tried to say. But what the media believed and what Michael said in his interviews states otherwise. Conrad Murray, the doctor who was convicted of involuntary manslaughter in the death of Michael Jackson, stated that Joe had Michael receive chemical castration, hormone injections when he was only 12 years old to keep him from having a deep voice and delay his puberty. As time went by, Michael started to see that his father's harshness was kind of love. That the reason why he was pushing them so hard was that he didn't want anyone to ever look down on his children. The relationship between the two became a bit better as Joe was the one who was around Michael during the trial in 2005. In his interview with Oprah, Michael said, I love my father, but I don't know him. Sometimes I do get angry. I don't know him the way I'd like to know him. My mother's wonderful. To me, she's perfection. I just wish I could understand my father. Despite all, Joe was not included in Michael Jackson's will that he left behind after his death. On June of 2018, two days after the ninth anniversary of his superstar son, Michael Jackson, Joe passed away after battling terminal pancreatic cancer, and his name as Michael Jackson's monstrous father went down in history. What do you think about Michael Jackson's dad and the way he treated his children? Let us know in the comments and become a part of our dazzling family by subscribing to our channel.